So as the game is about to get underway, it looks as if Hamilton have got 4-5-1 formation or 4-3-3 depending on the possession. McLeod takes the ball in the centre, makes a pass through to Lyle. And she's moved off the ball by City who gained possession. The Alexander in goal for City today plays out to Lauren McMurchie. Looks to pass it across the back. And then City build. So Hamilton staying well off the back four of City, giving them possession at that part of the field, compressing the midfield to try and just nullify the attacks. So first ball comes into the box, comfortable one for goalkeeper Elaine Fleming. Passes it out wide to Megan Quinn, who's got time to look up, which she does. Connolly then plays it forward, Lions flicks on. City throw. So a ball comes in. Hamilton defence start to come out. Jill Ingalls looking to try and close down. The ball comes across. We need to try and clear that. First goal in for Glasgow City. So Laura McMurchie on the score sheet for Glasgow City in the first five minutes. Again, McMurchie picks the ball up, first touch ahead, looking forward. Gallen closing down City player, back to McMurchie. So again, it's that same ball to the left winger. McMurchie looks to be a way that City will try and make inroads to the Hamilton defence. Back into the centre of the field. So Leanne Ross under pressure from two Hamilton players. Jordan McClintock comes forward, shows an excellent pair of heels, shows great pace and possession. Perhaps just didn't quite manage to get that into the box in an area that Vary Lyle could move on to. City building up the right-hand side this time. Ball goes up to the touchline. Leanne Ross collects, plays forward to the striker and then an overlapping run. Reasonable contact there made by Danny Connolly, but mix up there in defence allows the ball to come in. Jill Ingalls gets her chest on the ball, manages to clear with some ease. Leanne Ross plays in again. Lots of people in there and it's an easy put away. Although the... Assistant referee has flagged for offside. So it's either a very good piece of defending or just perhaps that the striker had made the run just a fraction too early. So just about half an hour gone, this time a long ball comes into the box and the first touch goes on to the right back, Lauren McMurchie, perfectly positioned manages to side, fall the, side foot the ball into the net from about five yards out. That makes it 2-0 for Glasgow City with about 15 minutes to go in this first half. So Hamilton restart the game, now 2-0 down. McLeod plays it back to Lindsay, who plays a long ball forward. Comfortable one for the City defence. Lee Alexander plays it out to the captain. Leanne Ross plays it wide. Then receives the ball back. McMurchie finds Lauder. Ball back to McMurchie. Plenty space there. Again, Hamilton quite happy to give them Glasgow City the ball just outside the box. Now comes a long diagonal. Excellent ball there. Hayley Lauder picks up on the left-hand side. Played back, another chance. Hits the bar, excellent. Shot there, and there's a melee in the box. Ball comes out for a shot. Keeper there, two hands, manages to parry it away to the captain, Jill Ingalls. Plays it wide for Laurie Gardner to chase. 
Hamilton managed to survive that scare. Leanne Ross plays the ball in. Excellent ball. Elaine Fleming did well to parry that away with one hand. And there's a strong challenge near the touchline. The assistant has awarded the throw in to Glasgow City. We gave the ball under control. Send the ball into the box. There's a free shot here if it can be made. Healy Lauder side foots that ball. Elaine Fleming gathers at the second attempt. Hamilton have done quite well in the first half. Midfield have been fairly competitive. Managed to snuff out many of Glasgow City's attacks. So there's a long ball up the right-hand side this time. Megan Quinn tries to stop the ball coming in. Played in high and the... Jill Ingalls manages to take the ball from the danger area. Plays it off a Glasgow City player. Glasgow City play the ball in. Laura Gallen closes her down. The ball comes back to the left-hand side. Chance to play the ball into the box, which is done. Referee sees and the assistant flags for offside. So, bit of a let off there for Hamilton. So that ball must have been fairly close. Elaine Fleming kicks the ball out. Jill Ingle shows a lovely chest control. Manages to play the ball up to Laurie Gardner. There's a good chase here. Glasgow City do well to retain the football, but Lee Alexander's left foot kicks up in the air. Referee sees that as a Hamilton ball. So a referee has awarded Hamilton a free kick. She marks out the 10 yards for the two-man wall to retreat. Gilling goes over the ball. Hopefully send this into the box. Perhaps the break of the ball could come to Hamilton player get back into this match. The low ball comes in, doesn't pass the first defender. However, the ball stopped there again by Captain Ingalls. Glasgow City quite happy to play the ball back, allow Hamilton to regroup. Leanne Ross plays a good crossfield ball to the right hand side. Glasgow City come inside. Lay it off now. First touch, not a good enough one there for a shot, but the ball is played wide to the left-hand side and it will come into the box. Needed to challenge there. Well done, Megan Quinn. Another strong challenge. Ball comes back out to the Glasgow City defender. Plays the ball in. Danny Connolly underneath it. Emma Lyons underneath it. Squaring up for a shot. Need to clear the ball from that area there. Lyons gets her foot in the ball. Strongly away, Hamilton need to come out. 57 minutes gone, the score is still Glasgow City 2, Hamilton Aki's nil. Elaine Fleming takes the goal kick and Danny Connolly caught there in a tussle with the Glasgow City attacker who've played a nice one too and it's a very good save, left hand down to the near post, Elaine Fleming. So Elaine Fleming does, to, does well to keep the score at 2-0. So more of a conventional corner this time for Glasgow City where they have five players in and around the six-yard box. Man-to-man -man defence by Hamilton. Ball was, went free there and a good charge down by Megan Quinn. Still anybody's for the taking. Cleared well by Hamilton. Allows the defence to come out, which they have done. Ball played through. Deborah McLeod gets half a foot on that. Referee's going to blow there for a foul. Jade Lindsay catching the attacking player for Glasgow City. Chance for City to get the ball into the box. So, some confusion in and around the Excelsior Stadium. Uh, no one seemed to spot that there was a penalty given there but that was the referee's decision and the penalty was dispatched by captain Leanne Ross with a strong strike to the right hand side of Elaine Fleming who guessed the right way but the shot just had too much pace for the goalkeeper to get a hand on it strange decision by the referee there
Well, Kirsty Fraser has a long throw at her disposal. There's good evidence of that. Straight over the Glasgow City defender. Gives a good position for Hamilton, perhaps to win a corner. Well done. So we have a chance here now to get the ball in the box, perhaps get back into the game. Six or seven players in the box for Hamilton. The ball goes straight the way across, straight out from Jill Ingalls. Now Hamilton will have to defend this quick break from Glasgow City. Gary Doctor unhappy with the referee's decision to allow the play to be made without a goal kick clearance. Glasgow City building from the back. Time to turn. Hamilton need to chase hard. Try to get back into this game. Make it competitive for the last quarter. Jade Lindsay easily mops up there. Jalingo's plenty time to run. Vary Lyle trying to make a break. Jalingo takes a shot from distance. Keeper didn't quite manage to get behind that, so it comes off her arms out for a corner to Hamilton. Jalingo's about to take the corner. And it comes under the goalkeeper. Emma Lyon shouts for it. Chance is still there. Ball's free in the box. Everyone challenging in the air. Danny Connolly, but eventually it's cleared. Kirsty Fraser makes a good tackle. The referee might play play on there. Surprising there wasn't a free kick awarded, but the referee might have played all play on. Glasgow City have the ball outside the box. Challenge on the edge of the box. Scary moment for the Hamilton defence. That looked like a tough one. So the referee having one or two strange decisions today. Emma Lyons, number 20, goes off. Emma Lyons' birthday today, so she's managed to play for at least 60 minutes. Brought in some chocolate cakes, which I'm sure the players and staff will enjoy. Amy Lindsay comes on for Hamilton to replace Emma Lyons in midfield. So, about five minutes to go in the game. Let's hope Amy Lindsay and Amy Allen have got some time to make an impact on the game. Currently still 3-0 Glasgow City. Jill Ingalls, strong tackle in in the centre circle. Two people chasing for Hamilton. Strong tackle again from Jill Ingalls. Unlucky not to win the ball there. So Glasgow City have a chance to build again. There's a straight ball up the line from Leanne Ross. First touch is a good one. Space for Glasgow City to come forward. Play a 1-2 and then a shot at goal. Quite comfortable for Elaine Fleming. Good, fo good football all round there by both teams. So Hamilton will be keen to try and keep this ball out as the referee blows the final whistle in a game which has seen Glasgow City win this Premier League fixture by three goals to nil. Probably a worthy win by Glasgow City, who dominated possession of the football. Thought Hamilton competed well in the midfield for most of the match. And two fair goals scored by Glasgow City and then a controversial penalty extended the lead from 2-0 to 3-0. So plenty of work for both sets of coaching staff to be working on. And we'll look forward to seeing you again at the next SWPL fixture. And in the meantime, it's goodbye for me, match commentator John Mathers.